Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rush Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss our video. We just passed 680 subs. Thank you guys so much for all your support, and I hope I can continue to make great content you guys will enjoy in the future. Now, the North Carolina Tar Heels have been very active in the college basketball transfer portal, and they've had to because they have lost so many key pieces to last year's team. But North Carolina just brought in another massive addition, and this is probably the biggest yet. Cormac Ryan, the former Notre Dame guard, has decided to transfer to the North Carolina Tar Heels. I'm going to go over how important Cormac Ryan could be for North Carolina next season and whether I think he can definitely help North Carolina make the NCAA tournament next season. Now, North Carolina right now has a lot of uncertainty to their basketball roster. Hubert Davis, at head coach, needs to have a complete roster overhaul to potentially be able to make North Carolina a better team next season. They missed the tournament last year, and they would have made the NIT had they have decided to played in the tournament, but they did not play in the NIT. Maybe Pry got in the way, who knows? But overall, North Carolina vastly underperformed last season because the year before that, they made the national championship game. And a big reason they were able to make the national championship game was the tandem of Caleb Love and RJ Davis, who were playing at a high level at the end of that season. Brady Manick was shooting threes at a high level, and Armando Baycott was great on the glass. But North Carolina lost Brady Manick, and Pete Nance this past season was not able to have the production that North North Carolina needed at that four spot and Caleb Love he's decided to enter the transfer portal he is gone one of the most polarizing players in North Carolina Tar Heels history on some nights he was great and obviously he'll always be remembered for the shot against Duke in the final four in Coach K's career but he was such a polarizing player in this past season he shot the ball really poorly from the three-point line and all around and North Carolina's already brought in some transfer portal players in and Paxson Wojcik from Brown and they've also brought in Jalen Withers from Louisville both solid additions for North Carolina to potentially help them out, but Cormac Ryan is the headline transfer portal addition that North Carolina's brought in, and he's a really good, solid veteran guard who's played at Stanford and Notre Dame the past four years. He is a very high IQ player because of the fact he went to Stanford, so you know he's a really smart player off the floor, but on the floor, he's a smart player as well. He's a really good guard. He's 6'5", 195 pounds. He has a lot of experience in college basketball, and this is a great addition for Hubert Davis. He averaged 12.3 points per game, 4 rebounds rebounds and 2.5 assists for Notre Dame this past season. Even though Notre Dame was not a great basketball team last year, it was not because of Cormac Ryan. He did shoot 40.9% from the field this past season. Not a great number for a guard. You'd like that to be around 45%, but he was on a team that was struggling, so maybe he wasn't getting some of the best shots in the world. He did shoot 34.4% from the three-point line, and same thing. He is a guy that I think can shoot better than that from the three-point line. He did have one season in college basketball where he shot around 38%, so he probably can improve on that number next season for North North Carolina, and he shot 82.7% from the free throw line, so he is a good free throw shooter. He's a really smart player, and Notre Dame's losing out on a really good basketball player in Cormac Ryan, unfortunately, and North Carolina will be greatly benefited by Cormac Ryan's addition, and I think that potentially North Carolina could be a better basketball team next season without Caleb Love's scoring punch in the backcourt, even though Caleb Love's a really talented player, and I think he'll have a lot of success at Michigan next season. North Carolina's bringing in Cormac Ryan, Paxson Wojcik, and Jalen Withers, who I think are all high IQ players and potentially be able to share the basketball with each other at a higher level. Not one of those guys are going to score at the level that Caleb Love did last season for North Carolina, but all three combined could be able to match Caleb Love's 17 points per game and potentially be able to score even more than that combined. Cormac Ryan averaged 12 points per game at Notre Dame this past season. If he comes in and averages around 10-11 points for North Carolina, Jalen Withers, who averaged around 8 points per game last season for Louisville, can average around 5-6 to six points per game. And also Paxson Wood who averaged 14 points per game at Brown this past season. If he can average around 7-8 points per game, combined that's 25 points per game between the three players. And Caleb Love only averaged 17 points per game by himself on really poor shooting splits. So again, these three additions for North Carolina are huge for next season. And I think could potentially help North Carolina be a great basketball team next year. They still do have a lot of uncertainties on their roster. I think Hubert Davis needs to do a little bit more in the transfer portal. They still have a couple spots to fill they could potentially bring in some other great players as well, but I do think North Carolina is on the right track bringing in who they've brought in, and R.J. Davis and Armando Baycott are back as well, and both of those players are fantastic. I think R.J. Davis will be able to have a better season next year, having more players that he can share the basketball around him with. I don't think he's going to have to go out there and score 15, 16 points per game like he did last year. Having Cormac Ryan that you can pass the ball to and get open threes for, and also having Paxson Wojcik and Jalen Withers, I think will definitely help out R.J. 
RJ Davis not have to carry as big of a scoring load next year. And Armando Baycott might be a more of an emphasis in the offense next season. Sometimes I thought he was forgotten about with North Carolina last year when too much of the attention was being put on Pete Nance and RJ Davis and Caleb Love to take shots. Armando Baycott's a great center, and I think he can really dominate in the ACC next season if North Carolina gives more attention to him and passes the ball to him more often. I think that that would definitely help out North Carolina next season as well. In North Carolina, they're also losing Dontrez Styles and Leaky Black and Puff Johnson, as well as Kale Love and Pete Nance. All those are really tough losses overall. I definitely think that North Carolina is losing a lot of talent to the portal and to graduation overall. But what North Carolina is bringing in as well in the high school recruiting rankings, Simeon Wilger and Zayden High, two four-star players, I think could potentially offset some of the players that North Carolina is losing in the transfer portal as well. So those guys can potentially come in and have success. And Jalen Washington and Seth Trimble are both going to be back. Two really good players that were four-star prospects in the previous recruiting class for North Carolina that were freshmen last year that didn't play much last season. I think they could definitely improve next year overall. Maybe Jalen Washington can fill some of the minutes that Puff Johnson is leaving at North Carolina. So overall, I'm looking at North Carolina's roster, and I think that the Tar Heels are a ok I don't think that they're going to be the best team in the ACC next season by a long shot, unless somehow North Carolina is able to land a Harrison Ingram or some other big transfer portal player that could come in and be able to help make North Carolina even better next season. They're looking at some other guys. I don't think North Carolina is done yet, but Hubert Davis, the big key for him is to be able to have all of this talent that's coming in and be able to mesh it together and have it play at a high level for North Carolina next season. Because bringing in a guy like Cormac Ryan is not going to do you any good if you don't utilize him in the right way. I felt like Pete Nance was sometimes underutilized for North Carolina. He did have some back issues for North Carolina this past season, so I think that did affect his play and potentially why he did not shoot as well from the three-point line. But Cormac Ryan is definitely a guy you cannot bring in and not use him at a high level. He's a guy that wants to shoot the basketball, come off ball screens, and be able to have a lot of success for North Carolina next year. He wants to be at a winning program. Notre Dame did not win last year. And Cormac Ryan is his last season of eligibility. And hopefully for North Carolina and Cormac Ryan, it will be a good season for Cormac Ryan and the Tar Heels next year. I think the Tar Heels have done a great job in the portal bringing in Jalen Withers, Paxson Wojcik, and Cormac Ryan to all be able to replace Caleb Love's production, maybe do it in an even better way by sharing the basketball and taking better shots. And if North Carolina runs their offense much better next year with R.J. Davis and Armando Baycox being the focal point, but not leaving out players like Cormac Ryan, Jalen Withers, and Paxson Wojcik, and some of the other guys that North Carolina's bringing in, like Simeon Wilcher and Zayden High from the freshman class that are both really talented players, then I do think that North Carolina could be a better basketball team next season. Obviously, I don't think they'll be one of the best teams in college basketball next year unless they make a couple more splash additions, but Cormac Ryan is a great addition for Hubert Davis. He's the best name that they've brought in so far. He's a great three-point shooter that they can use off of ball screens, and I think he'll be able to pair nicely next to R.J. Davis and Armando Baycott in the lineup. He's a guy that a lot of other programs want in Indiana. Tons of other programs were looking at Cormac Ryan, so I do think that overall North Carolina is getting a steal with Cormac Ryan. He's a great player, one year of eligibility left, so he will not impact who North Carolina could potentially bring in in the 2024 class, which they're looking at some great players as well. I think things are trending in the right direction for Hubert Davis. He's going to have to have a lot of success next season, though, for it to really work out. Or Hubert Davis could be on the hot seat even more than ever with the Tar Heel faithful, but Cormac Ryan is a great addition. I think he should have a lot of success shooting the basketball for North Carolina next season if he's utilized correctly, and potentially North Carolina with all that they're bringing in and who they could potentially bring in as well. The Tar Heels could be a better basketball team next season, but we're definitely going to have to wait and see what happens. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about Cormac Ryan transferring from Notre Dame to North Carolina and whether you think Cormac Ryan will definitely be able to shoot the basketball at a high level for the Tar Heels next season and have a lot of success at UNC next year and whether you think Hubert Davis is doing a really good job in the offseason to potentially make North Carolina a better team overall next season. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description and I will see you next time.